Hello tribe, today I just want to read a paragraph from the book that I really like. The book is called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. It's by Susan Jeffers. The paragraph we're going to be reading is from chapter 1, page 14. If you knew you could handle anything that came your way, what would you possibly have to fear? The answer is nothing. I know you are probably not jumping up and down for joy just yet, but believe me when I tell you, I have just given you a great piece of news. What I have just told you means you can handle all your fears without having to control anything in the outside world. This should be a tremendous relief. You no longer have to control what your mate does, what your friends do what your children do, or what your boss does. You don't have to control what happens at an interview, what happens at your job, what happens in your new career, what happens to your money, or what happens in the stock market. All you have to do to diminish your fear is to develop more trust in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. I am belaboring to the point because it is so critical. From this moment on, every time you feel afraid, remind yourself that it is simply because you are not feeling good enough about yourself. Then proceed to use one or more of the tools in this book to help build yourself up. You have your task clearly mapped out in front of you. There is no reason for confusion. I have often been asked to explain why we have so little trust in ourselves. I don't really know the answer to that. I know that some fear is instinctual and healthy and keeps us alert to trouble. The rest, the part that holds us back from personal growth, is inappropriate and destructive and perhaps can be blamed on our conditioning. In all my life I have never heard a mother call out to her child as he or she goes off to school. Take a lot of risks today, darling. She is more likely to convey to her child, be careful, darling. This, be careful, carries with it a double message. The world is really dangerous out there and you won't be able to handle it. What mom is really saying, of course, is if something happens to you, I won't be able to handle it. You see, she's only passing on her lack of trust in her ability to handle what comes her way. I can remember wanting desperately to have a two-wheel bicycle and my mother's refusal to buy me one. Her answer to my pleas was always the same. I love you too much. I don't want anything to happen to you. I translated this to mean you are not competent enough to handle a two-wheel bike. Having become older and wiser, I realize now that she was really saying, if anything happens to you, I will fall apart. This overprotective mother of mine was once in intensive care after serious surgery, with tubes down her nose and her throat. When I was told it was time for me to leave, I whispered in her ear, not knowing if she could hear me, that I loved her and would be back later. As I was walking towards the door, I heard a small, weak voice behind me saying, you guessed it, be careful. Even in her anesthetic stupor, she was sending me admonitions of doom and gloom. And I know she typifies the great percentage of mothers out there. Considering how many be carefuls our parents bombarded us with, it is amazing we even managed to walk out the front door. Apart from such seemingly obvious connections, the cause of our fear quite possibly lies elsewhere. But does it really matter where our self-doubts come from? I believe not. It is not my approach to analyze the whys and wherefores or troublesome areas of the mind. It is not often impossible to figure out what the actual causes of negative patterns are. And even if we did know, the knowing doesn't necessarily change them. 
I believe that if something is troubling you, simply start from where you are and take the action necessary to change it. In this case, you know that you don't like the fact that lack of trust in yourself is stopping you from getting what you want out of life. Knowing this creates a very clear, even laser-like focus on what needs to be changed. You don't have to scatter your energy wondering why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you begin now to develop your trust in yourself until you reach the point where you will be able to say, whatever happens to me, given any situation, I can't handle it. I hope this sparked something in you. And whoever needed to hear this, have found this video. I'll see you next time.